welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you what's in my tote bag for 2023. I believe I've done one of these videos for the last two years and I just love them so much because they remind me of like the OG YouTube where people would show like what's in their bag and everything. And I still love those videos to this day. And I got a new tote bag recently, which is even bigger than my ever totes. And I can fill it to the brim with different things, which I love. And I've been taking it around lots of me to, you know, cafes to work and everything like that. I will say when it's quite heavy, you don't want to be walking around with it for too long, just on one shoulder. But the great thing about this tote bag, which I have here, is you can adjust the strap. So sometimes you can change it so that it's not you know, so lenient on one strap, you can make it pull across to have two. And this is great because it just takes a little bit of pressure off and you can also grab it by these handles here. So I love it. It's a very versatile tote bag. I got this one from Indigo. Um, I believe it's called like the book bag. I love it because it's so big and it's just like very classic and simple. There's no design on it, but I take it everywhere and it can fit everything in it. So today I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my tote bag, basically how much stuff I can fit in a tote bag, and all my go-to essentials. Okay, so to start off with my tote bag, I have my laptop. This is actually empty right now, this laptop bag, because I am using my laptop to record this video with my mic. So just imagine this has my laptop in it, it's a lot heavier, but I got this laptop bag recently from Amazon, and I just love it because it's very simple, and it's like, I believe I got it in like the gray color, and it does have one pocket, so you can add extra things inside. Usually I would have like an adapter in here, but I'm actually using that for my video as well right now. The one thing I do have inside it right now is this extra charger, like portable charger. And I used this one last year when I was going around Europe. This is also from Amazon. I'll link everything that I use from Amazon in the notes below, but this one's great. It's super reliable, easy to charge up. It has a little puppy paw, so it shows you like how charged it is based on glowing up on the paw. So like it slowly goes down over time, which is really cute. So that is my go-to portable charger, which I usually just leave in my laptop bag because if I'm taking my laptop bag with me somewhere in my tote bag, I'm probably gonna be out for a while working on something. So that is the main big guy that goes into my tote bag. Okay, so next in my tote bag, next I have my makeup bag. I really like this one. You're gonna find in this video, most of my things are from Amazon. This little makeup bag is from Amazon. And I love it because it has a little smiley face print on it, very cute. And it kind of goes with the whole theme. We've got like neutral grays and creams going on. A lot of different things are going on in here. Where to start? We'll start with this little portable mirror that I have. I love it because it has a Van Gogh print on it. Super cute and it's in green, which is like my favorite color. So I just take this to go. That's one thing I always have in my makeup bag. Another thing that I have, which is also from Amazon, I believe, is a portable floss container. If you press up, it pops the floss up in the corner. And this is just really great because, you know, when you're going out, things get in your teeth, at least for me. So there's so many times where I wish I had a floss on the go that now that I have this portable one, I just love it. And I believe it comes in like a pack of three and each one has like 40 little floss guys in it. So you're set for a long time with one of these. Next, I have some gum. This is like a bubblegum mint flavor one. Very simple, always have gum with me. I also have this Philosophy hand cream. This one is my absolute favorite. It's uh, lemon custard and it just smells so good. I'm a big lemon tart fan. If you're not, maybe you won't like this so much. So I absolutely adore the scent. A claw clip. <laughs> I always have one of these. I think I've loved these since I was a kid, but you know, I think claw clips have gotten more into fashion lately and I just always like to have at least a mini one with me. I just find they're so practical for keeping my hair back. And I also have a, almost, I'm almost out of this, a Huda Beauty pound cake powder in here. It's my all time favorite go-to setting powder. So I have this miniature one here and just like a simple brush. So always take this to go with me. I also have this Baby Bum hand sanitizer. I like this one because the ingredients aren't super aggressive and it doesn't smell like too strong for a hand sanitizer. So I do like that one quite a bit. So I have that one with me as well. I have a Tide to Go stick. You know, this is just super handy to always have. There's so many times where I didn't used to have one of these before and wish I had. So always keep this in my makeup bag. I have my favorite lip balm at the moment, which is this fresh lip balm in Petal. And it's this really nice, like, dusty rose kind of pink color. And I love that they're like moisturizing at the same time, but it's also like tinted as a lip balm. So 
really, really love this one. I have this perfume that I'm almost out of. It's my all-time favorite scent. It's called Vanilla Sky by Skylar Clean Beauty. I really want to go get the big guy of this perfume soon. You can tell this has been like through it. Uh, but I'm almost at the end of the scent, but it's to die for. If you love like a vanilla scent, definitely check this one out. It's so, so good. And lastly, in my makeup bag, I have some concealer because you never know when you need it. Sometimes I'll actually take a beauty blender with me to go to just because it's easier to touch up. But the current concealer that I'm using is this Tarte Double Duty Beauty Concealer. I actually used to really like, which one was it? Was it Too Faced? I think it was one of their concealers that they discontinued, but this is like a close second favorite. So that's what I've been currently using and I take with me on the go. So that is everything in my makeup bag. Okay, so what's next in here? I have, I have, this I got very recently. This, if anyone else vlogs and <laughs> has found themselves denting their camera, my Canon vlogging camera, which I'm vlogging on, or I'm filming on right now, so I won't show you guys. It has a few dents and scratches, so I thought to help with that, I would get it a portable case. So this one's super small, and I just wanted something that was easy to throw in a bag but not worry about. And also I can put other things in here, like an extra uh, memory card or battery, so pretty happy with that. I also got this. Guess where? <laughs> Amazon. So usually my camera would be in this, but we are filming on that camera right now, so. All right, um, oh, I guess we'll do the little pocket. I don't wanna forget about that. I guess to start, we have my keychain. I don't have a lot of keys, so it looks quite bare. There's no car keys on here right now, but I thought this was just so cute. It's like a little bear and a donut. Not super exciting. I just have this mini wallet. I love the ones that are just card holders, um, just because I don't like ones that take up a lot of space. My friend actually gave me this one. It's just like a little Kate Spade one. So I always have that, obviously. This is super random and <laughs> kind of embarrassing, but if we're being real, this is in my tote bag. I do have, and these are super dented. I wouldn't want to even hand these out. They're like stained. I have these business cards for my graphic and web design business. I know I'm kind of old school having a business card, but you never know when you're talking to someone. I handed out one recently at a really random event. You know, never know when I need one of these, but I definitely think I need a fresher pair of business cards. So those are usually floating about in whatever bag I have. Okay, so another one that I have in the small pocket is some shades. These are some super affordable shades that I got from Amazon. I was about to buy new shades recently. I really like some of the designer shades, but I just couldn't bring myself to buy them. So I got kind of a dupe for the ones I was looking at on Amazon. And you know, like, you can probably see the ring light in these. They could be worse. <laughs> so I, you know, love the fact that at least I won't be upset if these get broken or lost. So I got those off Amazon and I will of course link those down below for you guys as well. Another thing that I keep in my tote bag is a pencil case because as I said, if I'm bringing my laptop about, probably doing some work too. So I do like to have this just for when I'm doing work, just because it has a lot of the essential things I need. The most essential thing I need actually is AirPods, you know, if I want to take a call or anything. I love the little green AirPod case that I have from my AirPod Pros in here. It's like this nice little green color and you can also clip it on things, but I always keep that in here, but I also keep regular old styled headphones. Wow, can't think of the name. And I really like this guy because it makes it really easy to keep them tangle free. Basically what you do is you just put the wire on this little clip here pull it and it just quickly whips it around and rolls up your wire for you, which I love just because it keeps it very tangle free. So I keep these two guys in here just in case I need them. Uh, another thing that I keep in here is the essential pens and everything. So I have some Muji pens. I really love their pens so, so much. I have some highlighters and some mechanical pencils. In the middle, I just have, yeah, a black pen and a Sharpie. Even I'm like, what do I have in here? I think that is it for the pencil case. Okay, so let's see what's left. This bag is getting pretty empty. Okay, yeah, last thing in the tote bag. I have this little notebook. I actually haven't used this one yet. Um, I've been bringing around my like black moleskin notebook, but I find it just gets really heavy when I have the laptop, the camera, pencil case and everything in there. So this one's like a really lovely light notebook that I have. I think someone gifted me this. So I've been throwing this one in here at the moment. Haven't used it yet, but yeah, that is 
everything in my tote bag currently. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh yeah, my phone <laughs> would obviously be in my tote bag. Shoot, you know what? I didn't grab a water bottle, but I switch that out every time. That's not really like an essential essential. So that is everything that is in my tote bag, guys. So I think that's all for today. I will talk to you guys all in my next video very, very soon. Bye, guys.